Hello guys, today I am going to show you how to control your PC by your mobile device. So first you need a server, which I will show you how to do that. So I will start my server, then I will run my application, which it will be on my Android phone. So if I type, uh, for example, google.com it will open my google if i type uh, notepad it will open my notepad all it will be controlled by your phone so let's start uh, first what you need is uh, make a unity project and call it client unity for example meanwhile let's create well, let's create a new windows form and call it vpf server for app I don't care <coughs> now you need uh, two patterns one for start the server and second one for stop the server and let make it smaller and one uh, text block for status let's properties and call it uh, status align that in the middle in the center, center. call it uh, start and this one stop so back to the unity I will close that first what you need is uh, in the uh, belt settings you need to switch to android then create a new UI image call it phone background go back to the canvas scale with screen size and back to the phone background uh, if you you need to know what's your phone resolution so for example if you're phone <coughs> resolution is like that you need to write <coughs> width and height then you need to have a free aspect and in the canvas you need to match with height and you need to screen space camera and scale and then, and then same here you need to put your phone resolution so this is our phone okay the next step is a uh, create button control D to duplicate and you need uh, you need a UI input field first button call start second call save and in input field or in a button start double click so it will focus and press T or this one and make it bigger 
save button make bigger too move it and uh, input field make bigger too then control and click on both uh, scale to 0 2 drag it and move it like that so we want to have a overall place then write 150 move it a little bit down like that and uh, make it bold and create on input field create a script which will called like input saver create an add Upad and we will need make a string save text and uh, input field unit you need the Unity UI public. Then you need the uh, input field. Let's call it like that. Then you need a uh, new new function, which uh, it will save your input fields. So you don't need the rewrite every time you run your application application so public void update text and you need uh, saved saved text equals input in input field that text and player press that mm, set string uh, you can name it whatever you want if for example save date save text and it will be our save text and on start we want uh, save text be player press get string and our save text next is our input text be our save text so this will save us our string of input text So drag and drop your input field, then go to the start, uh, then go to the save, and drag input field, and input saver, and update text. Then go to the start, and add new script called start client. add new create new script and what you need uh, is my DL so just drag and drop it and click on script and create new public void start client and you need to uh, write my start connection and start run run client and you need a uh, you need uh, your IP address so write CMD write IP config and 
here is your IP address you know adapter so you will write like that then you need a uh, port which is it doesn't matter you, it can be like that and then you need uh, what to send so I want to send my Aurora in my input field so public input input field in a prefer and in a prefer dot text so it will send my input field let's save it close it and drag and drop a uh, input field click on add and take a start and start clean and start clean then go back to your VPF double click on start uh, first we need background worker system component model you need call it worker new then you need uh, uh, do a work press stop you will get a new function new void and worker work as in in worker to work you need a uh, you first need a in the solution and and properties at oh references at the references and again the DL I press uh, this one one drive two minute this one okay double load I have two sorry guys then you need to write you know, start connection but now it's not run client it's run server and it need a socket your address port and byte make a make a static socket you need ne system net that socket call it socket and static data byte an array of data the first is a uh, socket the right socket then you need your AP address which is same in uh, our uh, application then you need the port it has to be same so we we had as 666 six, six. then you need uh, then you need the uh, data and it's all guys so let's try that uh, and uh, we w let's uh, make a stop function and status uh, in a stop we want a socket that close close connection and our status and properties info status call it uh, info status dot text equals uh, stop and in a here input info status dot text equals running now let's run that let's accept 
our ser server is running and now in our application I will write uh, for example uh, http.google.com and it will open my Google then uh, uh, this click if I write notepad it will op open my notepad and last thing you need to do is if you want to have this on your phone you need to build settings and build you will get an ap application uh, and after you have application let's uh, go to the here and call it client ape it will make you you will get the application of your so guys that's all and if you have any question you can ask me so bye